Welcome to Keep What You Earn, your judgment and jargon-free zone for entrepreneurs of all levels. Get ready to learn how to scale your business, save money in taxes, and create a business that grows your wealth. If it feels like the financial side of business is like eating your vegetables, well then think of this podcast as the ranch dressing to make the process a little more enjoyable. My name is Shannon Weinstein. I'm a CPA and business owner on a mission to simplify money and empower others through knowledge. I hope this episode inspires you to take action, but remember that the information we share is for educational purposes only and is not individual tax advice. Now that we got that out of the way, let's start the show. No matter where you are in your business journey, there's always something that will challenge you. And we can fall victim to this mentality of, well, when I make more money, uh, this problem will go away. But there's always this saying, new levels, new devils, right? So when we think about really up-leveling our business, we're also signing up for new challenges. There's always going to be resistance because if you're a really strong business owner and you have an entrepreneurial mindset, then your brain will actually seek out growth and resistance. Like you, you're always going to be wanting to break those muscle fibers to grow back stronger. You're going to be looking for opportunities to build that business muscle. And one of the ways to do that is to really, to acknowledge (laughs) that this is happening, that this is what's going on and to, to accept it and to overcome these challenges with, with poise and with professionalism, um, and not let it get you down because everybody goes through them. Everybody experiences them. And if, you know, you're, we talked about this with, in our episode with Lindsay specifically, I remember this talking about finding that group of people who's also going through that same type of challenge is extremely powerful. And I'm going to encourage you to do that. What I'm going to do in today's episode though, is go through the biggest challenges that I see at different levels of business from different types of business owners I work with, whether it's folks who are DMing me, uh, texting me, folks who listen to this show and clients and former clients, like everything I've gathered over the last four years in business, I'm going to share with you the biggest themes I see at different levels of business. Now, a couple of disclaimers for this. I'm, I'm grouping this by revenue area, saying business owners who make about X amount of money, it does not mean that I'm being super literal. I'm just kind of ballparking and generalizing, uh, you know, where people are in their journey. And I don't know if someone could make seven figures in their first year and be like, holy crap, I'm struggling with all the things that you're saying, you know, a hundred K business owner struggles with. And, And that's fine. I'm just saying that if you're in an early stage, right, I'm going to tell you what the folks ahead of you might be struggling with. And I'm going to tell you what, uh, other people like you are struggling with, because unfortunately we don't have a lot of open forums. Uh, and if you have this community, this is fantastic. Like I mentioned, but we don't have a lot of forums out there right now to share our struggles or to say, here's my biggest challenge right now. And to be completely vulnerable and honest and authentic about that. And one of the the biggest ways that you can show up authentically is to, you know, admit, I do this all the time. Like you guys know, I'm not, I'm not perfect. I'm learning. I I'm still building a business. You know, I'm not at the level I want to be at yet, but I I'm constantly striving for more. And if you're kind of like that, this is going to help you kind of know what's coming down the pike. (laughs) And I've struggled with all of these things, by the way, everything that I'm going to tell you I've struggled with. So, uh, let's kick things off with, if you're a business owner, who's just starting out, like you're in your first, maybe one to three years, um, you're, you're really kind of at that, you know, striving to meet your first six figures or to get to multiple six figures. Uh, one of the things that I find that is, uh, that plagues this group of people is fear and avoidance. It's this hesitation. That's how actually how I classify it. Hesitation. I see a lot of folks who want to start a business or start a business, but they're like dipping their toe in it, not fully committed. Uh, they don't want to start the LLC because what if it fails, right? We've talked about that. What if it fails? Um, so the F, what if it fails? <laughs> Your worst case scenario is going back to what you were doing, right? So what is the risk of doing the thing, building the thing, 
jumping in head first and saying, F it, let's go. Right. What is the risk? And a lot of folks are just have a lot of fear, a lot of avoidance. And when I say avoidance, I mean, they avoid the financial side of business or looking it in the eye or focusing on profit. Um, one of the struggles I see with early stage business owners, and I'm going to go there for a second, I'm going to go there and say, uh, a lot of early stage business owners I talk to are really only focused on the fun. You know, they're not willing to put the work in. They want the life that is portrayed in social media. They want the, uh, you know, the bungalow house in the middle of the ocean on an island. They want to live and work remotely. They want to be in Tulum with their friends. They want to do all these things, but they haven't built the thing yet that pays for that. And they haven't put the work in and the time and the struggles. And I think there's a misconception on social media right now that that is, you know, living life with ease and built, making income, you know, effortlessly. <laughs> I think that's honestly marketing. I, I don't think it's effortless. When it becomes effortless is when it's passive. And you're years and years or years away from making something fully passive, unless you're investing in something that is truly passive, like a rental property or investing in the market. So if you're building a business, which is earned income by the IRS standards, if you're building a business in expect to invest time, energy, and pour your heart into this thing, just expect that. Um, and that also involves pouring into the financial side and getting to know your numbers. It's a responsibility we have as business owners. We can't avoid it. And if, you know, it's easier to avoid it and you, you want to, then of course my advice is hire someone who can help you with that. So I'd say the biggest struggle I see for early stage business owners is really around the fear the, and how to approach it. Uh, and the good news is that for early stage business owners, we're going to be coming out with some, uh, helpful tools, toolkits, templates, and uh, courses that are going to help you get over that hump and make things a little bit more approachable in our keep what you earn way. So stay tuned for that. I'm sure it will be all over the show notes site, no matter when you're listening to this. So just keep an eye out for that because we're going to be having something just for you guys. Now, let me jump into the next stage of business owners, which is uh, you know, where I've been for a while <laughs> and that's the like hundred K to 500 K. So if you're a business owner who is, you know, I, I'll even go beyond that and say, you know, up to like the 700 K, like if you're in the mid six figures, you haven't crossed the seven figure yet. Right. Um, you're, let's say you're up to like 500 K. Uh, I see the struggle with a lot of those business owners, uh, being focus, focus, a lot of those business owners struggle to focus on their core offer, understanding what's profitable in their business, understanding where to put their time and energy, where to invest, uh, literally invest time and time and money, uh, where to spend, you know, teams time, uh, and, and how to, how to kind of manage their calendar, uh, it, it comes down to all these different dimensions of focus and that is going to be so crucial to growth. I think that we get as business owners in that zone, we get inhibited by all these things being thrown at us, right? There's opportunities hitting us left and right. We can afford these opportunities. Like you have enough cash flow at that point to afford the coach, the program, the thing that is hitting you. And it's not an issue of price anymore. What you then need to do is be mindful of does this serve my intention, my focus area, my goal right now? Because you'll be hit with so many opportunities of ways to spend money. Trust me, I've been there. My clients have been there that you don't realize how much uh, you're really leaking because you're saying yes to a lot of things because maybe before you couldn't say yes. And now you're like, oh my God, yay. Now I, ha I can afford this. So I can go do the thing. Yes. But does it really push you in the right direction? And do you want to say yes to all these things at once? So I say that when you're in that zone, making about six figures and, and above, uh, you really have to keep your focus. And this is something, by the way, all business owners struggle with, no matter the level. But I feel like when you cross into this zone, it becomes the most prominent struggle. Now let's talk about the high six figures, maybe even early seven figures, depending on what type of business you're in. And I should disclaim that too. Like depending on what type of business you have, 
uh, these, these thresholds of income could be very different. I'm really focused on the online services, but if you're, you know, uh, making multiple, multiple seven or eight figures, um, I mean, you're not exempt from these struggles for sure, but the revenue thresholds might be a little skewed. So let's talk about the high six figure earner. So the struggle I see around them is mostly, uh, their ability to, you know, build repetition and scalability. So this is usually the cap we hit, you know, in the high six figures where like it's official, you know, you have a team perhaps, but you're, you're hitting capacity, right? Like the, the team that you've been using, uh, is going to hit capacity. You need to up level something. You need to increase quantity. You need to multiply. So multiplication is a big thing here. So being able to either multiply your offer, expand out, upsell, downsell, create other supplemental offers. Uh, I call them side dishes to the main course, right? This is when usually you want to start having, um, spokes come out of the core offer where there's different options for people. You've honed in your core offer and hopefully built a scalable offer that is easily repeatable where now you can really spike out some other options. Um, of course you can do this before you hit like a high six figure mark. But like I said, the business owners that I work with and that I've seen in this zone, generally that's the number one focus area is how do we get this to be like a lather, rinse, repeat? And how do we get different variations of this out there in the world so that we can you know, utilize our existing customer base, but add on other products and services that supplement what we do. Now, let me go into the last uh, category. Now, I say north of a million. Of course, this could be any level of income. Uh, but I think once you're making north of a million dollars in revenue, you are absolutely, absolutely in need of tax planning. <laughs> that is going to be, I think, the biggest struggle I see at least the biggest pain point. And when I say I see these struggles, I think I also mean that these are perceived challenges that come to my table, my desk. When business owners hit these levels, this is what they're talking about, right? When we say, what are your goals? What are your challenges? These are the, these are the themes. And the, the north of a million, um, talking to clients in like the three to $5 million range who don't have tax planning, they are paying out the you know what in taxes. And the first thing they do when they come to us is how do we lower our tax bill? That is the front facing foremost thing that they talk about. Uh, but you're not going to hear that from the 100K business owner, right? Usually that's like a manageable tax bill. The million dollar plus, now we're talking about, you know, potentially million dollars in revenue, and maybe 250K in profit. And that 250K in profit bumps you into a ridiculous income tax bracket, depending on what type of your uh, type of entity you have. So yeah, that can be challenging. And at that point, that's when we roll up our sleeves, we start looking at custom tax planning options, implementing creative options in order to reduce taxable income uh, through the business and making you aware of the legal tax strategies available to you that you can utilize, many of which we've discussed on this show. Uh, so we, we really focus in on tax planning around then. So just to kind of recap, you know, the early stage business owners, fear, avoidance, and hesitation, you know, the lower six figures, it's really focus. The high six figures, multiplication, repetition, scalability, and the seven figure and above business owners, tax strategy and planning for sure. These are kind of the areas that I just commonly see. And if uh, you're struggling with any of these things, please let us know how we can help you. We are happy to help not only in our one-on-one -on -one services, but we have that amazing community where you can reach out for support, talk with other business owners that are struggling with the same things as you and others who have been through it, who might be able to help you and offer some advice. So make sure you're a member in the community. It's completely free. Go sign up with an account through the link in the show notes and we will chat in there. All right. We'll see you on the next episode. wouldn't it be cool if you could chat with me and our guests about this episode? Well, guess what? You can join the keep what you earn community now using the link below in the show notes. You can post your questions, chat with fellow business owners, and the best part, it's totally free. 
Oh, and by the way, it's not a Facebook group. That's right, no noisy notifications or distractions. Just what you need to get the full experience from listening to this podcast and maximizing your value. Meet us over there after the episode to get exclusive content and access to me and our guests for your questions. We'll see you over there. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a rating and review on your podcast platform. This small action goes a long way for podcasters to get our message heard by more business owners just like you. Be sure to check out the show notes for links to information about our guests and ways to get in touch with me. We'll see you on the next episode.